Okay, so in this video, we're going to be recursing through uh, an array of items, um, like a sort of tree form array. Uh, so it'll be a multi-dimensional array. Uh, and basically, we're going to build a function to recurse through an output. Um, in this case, I've chosen to represent the array as like a file uh, structure. Uh, so you can see here we've got sort of core classes, functions, templates, so folders, uh, and then inside files and then more folders with files inside them. So, you know, this could be used for a variety of purposes. This could be navigation. Um, it could be like here file, a file structure. Uh, it could be anything like that. But the main thing here is we're going to learn to build a, a recursive array to actually deal with this. So, uh, sorry, a recursive function that's going to deal with this. Uh, and we're going to try and do it in the cleanest, quickest way we possibly can. Um, so it might be a little confusing at first, but that's basically what we're going to do. So let's just quickly take a look at the, um, the, the code for, you know, without giving away the actual function we're going to be building. We require this function in, and we have this tree here, which is obviously an array. Uh, inside we have um, the uh, array keys here, so this one will be core. Uh, we've got an, uh, an array within that, so we're already dealing with multi-dimensions in this array and so on and so forth. So the two of them uh, between them look very similar, so the output and the actual array itself look very similar because all we're doing is uh, creating an unordered list and then list items within that. Um, and you can see here all we're doing is just echoing this tree out function and then passing in this tree array. So uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the function that actually does this. So uh, quite interesting to know and uh, an extremely powerful technique, as you probably know recursion is. So let's go ahead and build this uh, this tree uh, out function. OK, so I've completely removed everything um, and we're actually going to start with building the array itself for the simple reason that to understand how to do this, it's if you know, if, if your array uh, skills or array building skills, you know, aren't great, uh, then this is going to be a really good way to learn how to build up a multi-dimensional array and what things actually mean within this. Uh, it's fair enough looking at it, it's quite easy to understand, but you know, what's the key and what's the value and, and all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and quickly create this uh, array. We're going to create an outer array and I bring this down a couple of lines just so I can indent in. So it makes it look nice and uh, nice and neat. So the first item I'm going to do is the, or the first items I'm going to do is all the core sort of fol folders in my case. Um, so this is going to be core classes functions and obviously this can be anything you know while you're following along um, just you know build a navigation if that's your end goal um, so they're my folders now my files so index.php login.php and register.php so that's what we need to do there so at the moment we have an array with just um, items in it okay so at the moment these are going to be um, the uh, values of the array. The keys are going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 uh, and so on. So we obviously start at zero element. So we have a zero ele zeroth element here, first element here, second, third, fourth and so on. Um, now what we're going to do is as soon as we give this a value and we assign a value to an item of an array using an equals and a greater than sign, uh, as soon as we do something like that, this then becomes the key rather than being the actual uh, value, this becomes the key. So this becomes the value, this becomes the key, whereas this is just the value. So it's slightly confusing, but you know, in our function, we're gonna actually uh, check for this. So what we need to do now is just start to populate the, um, the items within here. Uh, so in this case, it's just gonna be init.php, uh, and that'll be it. Now for classes, we do exactly the same. We build an array, come a couple of lines down and indent that. Uh, so here we're going to have user.php, hash.php, and session.php. Uh, the same with functions as well. This is just going to be an array with one item in. And that's going to be security.php. Uh, template, now with template, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to have our base, um, we're, going to, we're going to have one file and, and one folder, but within that folder, we're going to do another array. So we're getting deeper and deeper. And our function is going to deal with this because it's recursive. It will recurse through however many levels we have. You know, we could have 100 levels and it will deal with all of the levels. That's the beauty of recursive, uh, recursive programming. 
or a recursive function. So in this case, I'm going to say index.template.php, and now I'm going to create a folder. So remember, this is a value within here. This is now going to be a key with a value. So we're going to have includes and then another array. And then in here, uh, we'll do say header.template.php and footer template.php so then now that's done and we've got our three outside of our main uh, main structure so now we want to go ahead and actually build this function so we've we've built the um we've built the tree and, and that all works uh, we'll go ahead and just test that this works so i'll just go ahead and refresh my browser yep so we've got no errors here so there's no sort of syntax errors uh, within our array I haven't missed off a comma or anything like that so inside of our tree.php uh, file, which we've already required at the top here, uh, we need to actually start to build this function. Um, so let's go ahead and just define the function first of all. Uh, now this could be a method as part of a class, it could be absolutely anything. The main thing is that we give it a function name and we need to feed in the tree. So this is always gonna be an array. Um, so let's go ahead and just call this, um, so we're gonna say echo tree out and then we pass in tree so it's going to call this function and it's going to echo out the return value on this we don't have a return value at the moment but we are going to return um, the markup within the unordered list so we're going to generate each list item and if you're not familiar with unordered lists and list items in html then you know have a quick look and, and see what they involve but otherwise it's basically defining a list and then a list item inside uh, and the fact it's an unordered list just basically means that the items aren't in numerical order there's no specific order it doesn't actually order anything for you uh, but that's what an unordered list is so um, we're going to be building up markup so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable called markup and it's just going to be an empty string so we're going to append to this so to append to something we do markup dot equals uh, and then a string in here so that will just basically append to you could say of course markup equals markup dot and then a string to concatenate it on but dot equals just shorthand notation makes uh, things a lot easier so what we now need to do is we need to create a for each loop and remember we're going to be calling this tree out function from within our function potentially um, so we'll do that within for each but for for uh, for for each what we're going to do is uh, loop through tree so this will loop through the items in the array so on the first loop we're going to hit this this this, 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 and this, and this. Um, and uh, we say as branch and twig. I'm, I've chosen these names just because it makes more sense. Um, and I'll explain what these mean in just a moment. So essentially when you use for each um, and you define two variables here, branch uh, in this case is gonna be the key. So this key, this key, this key, this key. Now these are keys, but these are values. So they will then be defined as twig. Um, this is fairly difficult to understand, but basically if you had an array uh, like this, for example, like this, now this would be value one, value two, value three, and index or key zero, one, two. So in this case, for each loop of this, branch would be equal to zero, one, and two twig will be equal to one two three so this just represents the key and the value uh, of the array item so in this case this is a key because we have an, a value defined to it but these are still only values because they have nothing assigned to them um, so we can use this to determine what we want to do do we want do we see an array and do we want to delve deeper into this or do we want to just output it as a value so let's go ahead and just experiment and play around with this because that's probably the best thing we can do at this stage so i'm going to say markup is equal to or sorry we append um, a list item now within this list item we want to append something uh, so let's just go ahead and append branch and just see what happens um, and let's go ahead and view the output. In fact, we want, obviously need a return value for this. And the return value is going to be an unordered list. And then inside, we're going to concatenate on the markup that we generate. So for example, for three loops, just as an example, this would produce three LIs, starting and ending tags, and put that within a starting and ending unordered list. So it's just valid markup there. Uh, so in our browser, let's refresh. So you can see we've got core classes, functions, templates, but then we get zero, one, and two, which is really strange because um, 
that's you know not right we have index login and register but because we're because we're taking the branch we're taking a key and we already know that these are keys so that's correct now let's go ahead and check out oops sorry now let's go and check out here if we change this to twig um, you're probably going to guess what's happened although these will look a bit odd but then these will be correct so when I refresh um, we get a couple of that array to string conversion errors that's just because we're trying to output an array rather than delve in and, and output things like that so index login and register are now um, the actual uh, values here so what we actually need to do is in here we're going to create a ternary operator just to check um, a couple of th oh, well check one thing and then you know basically output based on uh, what we find so the check and if you've not seen ternary operator before this is the uh, operating it's basically an if statement uh, this this will be the result of this uh, evaluating to true so let's say one otherwise zero so it's basically an if statement it would be the same as saying if one is equal to one echo one else echo zero so this is equivalent to this so let's go ahead and actually change this to something more useful so what what do we want to check well we want to check if the twig meaning the value so these are an array so we can use a function in php PHP called is array and then we pass in what we want to check well that be twig because that's the values here this value this value this value this value this value and anything else so if it is an array what do we want to do well if it's an array we only want to give the name of the branch we don't want to output anything with the array just yet um, so we just want to say well we want that to be a branch now otherwise what do we want to do well our aim here is to output the branch and then go into the array and do exactly the same thing as we're doing here inside of here so this is where the recursion comes in and what we're actually going to do is we're going to call the function that we're currently in so that is basically recursion and what we pass in is the um, twig sorry not the tree so we pass in the twig so this is the twig this is the branch we output the branch and then we delve in and look further into this so basically as this stands this is going to be enough to generate what we need um, so uh, we'll go ahead and preview this oops let's just check if we've done anything wrong here oh yes of course sorry um, complete mistake here I've made a, a, a mistake so basically what we want to do is um, we want to um, uh, append this rather than say else now otherwise we want to say twig now this might look a little confusing but let's just run through it so we come through um, this function will uh, go through each of these items it will check if the uh, twig here is an array if it is it's going to output the branch and as I said the um, tree itself as well so we're going to go through here through the twig and output these items here and for each of them it will do the same and it will build up a list item otherwise it's just going to output the twig so in that case this will be the twig this will be the twig this will be the twig so these are branches these are twigs so um, sounds very confusing but let's take a look at the results Ah yes, so we've got a little uh, syntactical error here um, and basically what we're not doing here is we're not wrapping this entire thing here because we are concatenating. So what happens is um, PHP will read this as twig concatenated to list item. So it will actually say otherwise um, we want uh, twig and li but we don't want that, we just want twig. So we take this like this um, and then refresh and there we are. So a couple of little hiccups there, but that just goes to show you that, um, you know, something as simple as doing this can be, you know, fairly difficult. Now, of course, we could have used an if statement here, but it's, you know, it's really its personal preference. If you're struggling with this, create an if statement and just play around with it. But otherwise, what we're doing here is, you know, just taking an array, looping through, checking something. Otherwise, we want to just delve that one level deeper into it and recurse through. Uh, and then obviously we just output the result here.